Now, the Prime Minister has told MPs the UK will leave the Commons Fisheries Policy when it leaves the EU in 2019. But questions have been raised about what would happen in any transition period after Brexit. Theresa May told MPs the controversial fishing agreement will cease, but any arrangements during a transition period will have to be negotiated. Over now to our political correspondent, Nick Erdley. Nick. Katrina, the common fisheries policy is highly controversial. Scotland's fishermen, quite frankly, despise it. They think it's had a massively detrimental impact on their industry. We also know that the Prime Minister has pledged the UK will leave the EU at the end of March 2019. And today she was asked what that would mean for the common fisheries policy. Is it the Prime Minister's intention is it the Prime Minister's intention that the United Kingdom should remain part of the common fisheries policy during any transitional period after we have left the European Union? We, when we leave the European Union, we will be leaving the common fisheries policy. As part of the uh, agreement that we need to uh, enter into for the implementation period, obviously this and other issues will be part of uh, uh, that agreement. But when we leave the European Union, we will leave the common fisheries policy. Now, that's been welcomed by the Scottish Fishermen's Federation, but they say any implementation phase must be short, months rather than years. For example, they say a two-year transition, as many in Whitehall are mentioning on the overall idea, would be far too long. And the Scottish Government is questioning whether the EU will allow the UK to remain in a transition phase but leave the common fisheries policy. My understanding is that in Whitehall, the issue of what transition on fisheries would look like remains unresolved. But there are some in government who hope that by the time quotas for 2020 are negotiated, it will be the UK rather than the EU making those deals. Thanks, Nick.